today would like to take a moment to thank our gold sponsors, Sanders Ford, Jones Onslow Electric Membership Corporation, Onslow County, and National Automotive Group for their support of today's award ceremony. We have several elected officials with us here today and would like to recognize them and thank them for their commitment to our community. If I miss anyone, help a sister out. First, we have North Carolina Senator Harry Brown with us today. North Carolina House of Representatives, Phil Shepard. Onslow County Kirk of Clort, Lisa Brown. Onslow County Commissioner Chairman, Jack Bright. Onslow County Commissioner, Royce Bennett. Onslow County Commissioner, Paul Buchanan. Onslow County Commissioner Mark Price. <laughs> City of Jacksonville Mayor Sammy Phillips. <laughs> Is Michael here? City of Jacksonville Council Member Brian Jackson. <laughs> and City Council Member Bob Warden. And if he's made it here, I'd like to recognize Colonel Scott Baldwin. There you are. Thank you. Thank you, Colonel. From Marine Corps Base Camp Legere. Now, if you'll be so gracious as to please stand with me, we're going to pray, and the prayer will be followed by the um, presentation of the colors and the national anthem. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, today we especially thank you for this place we call home and the men and women of valor that we call our friends and neighbors. Our unique community is interwoven with so many individuals who answer the call to service over self. Thank you for the privilege of living in a community where courage and compassion are both displayed in service to others. Today, Lord, we are privileged to honor men and women who work in public safety. Help us as a community remember to pray for them, support them, and just say thank you for all they do every day. We ask your blessings over our lunch today, all who are here, and especially our nominees. Bless the food we are about to receive, those who prepared it, and those who serve it. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Turn, march, march.
Chapter March. March. Good afternoon, everyone. If you haven't finished your meal, please do so. But in the interest of time, we are going to go ahead and begin our program. I'm Lorette Legan, and I'm the president of the Jacksonville Onslow Chamber of Commerce. And I want to thank you for joining us for our public awards uh, ceremony and luncheon. Our keynote speaker today was to be Representative Phil Shepard, and I wrote a bio and everything, and one of the things I had in here is that he serves chair on the Transportation Committee and Transportation Appropriations, where he pays very close attention to the issues of port and shallow dredging. Well, I called to see where Phil was because he was running late. He is on his way to Wilmington with NC, um, East Alliance to talk about a port issue. So unfortunately, he is not able to join us today, but I have asked Senator Harry Brown to stand in his place with Cindy Edwards, our chamber chair, to present you this year's nominees. Hello again. Hi, Harry. How are you? Good. It's a privilege, as always, to recognize our public servants. And public safety uh, owns a, a special place, I think, in all of our hearts. I won't go down memory lane, but my father served on the Phoenix Fire Department for over 10 years. So it's a good thing that we say thank you today and recognize outstanding professionals in this field. Our nominees this year, if, when I call your name, if you would please stand and come up so that we can recognize you. Carlton Beal from Onslow County Fire Rescue, Bear Creek Station Number 2. Next, we have Christopher James Cross, North Carolina State Highway Patrol. Candice English Jarman, Onslow County Emergency Medical Services. Don Renee Yarnick, Onslow County Sheriff's Office. Adam Ketchum, Onslow County Emergency Services, Fire Rescue Division. William Lee, Jacksonville Fire and Emergency Services. Indeed. 
congratulations. Thank you. Next up is Peter T. McGee III, MCP Camp Lejeune Fire and Emergency Services Division. Courtney Martin, Jacksonville Police Department. Congratulations. John Joseph Ricker, Sr., Onslow County Sheriff's Department. Julie Robson, Jacksonville Police Department. Vanessa Smith, Jacksonville Police Department. Donnie L. Woods, Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune Fire and Emergency Services Division. Finally, Ethan Wooten, Jacksonville Fire and Emergency Services. Congratulations to all our nominees. And now it's time to present our awards and to kick us off will be Onslow County Commission Chairman, Mr. Jack Bright. You want to read your own? I got one. Okay. Thanks, Lorette. It's a pleasure to be here to honor the uh, recipients of the uh, awards for public safety. Um, you just don't know how much and how important uh, volunteers are for our community with all the volunteers and services that's uh, throughout the county and the city. And if it weren't for our volunteers, we just wouldn't be where we're at today. I once, uh, my, my whole career started as a volunteer at the uh, Jacksonville Police Department. I started out as a police reserve officer. And 
Then there was an opening that came around for a police officer and I started my career in law enforcement. My starting salary was a big $500 a month. And I don't think you can even buy a cell phone now for that. But anyway, uh, <laughs> after I started and then after a 30 year career in public safety, uh, that's probably what shaped and formed me to be where I'm at today because that was part of my life. And uh, you do that for, not for the money because as all the law enforcement officers that's in here and firemen, you don't do it for the money, you do it for the love of the job. So I commend you all and congratulations to all of the nominees today. So let's give all those nominees a big hand. At last year's uh, public safety award ceremony, the Chamber of Commerce added a category for Volunteer Firefighter Professional of the Year. These are some of the uh, true unsung heroes of Onslow County, and I'm honored to recognize this year's winner. The vol this volunteer firefighter has been on the job since 2009, has completed the following training, North Carolina Firefighter 1 and 2, Emergency Vehicle Driver, Mobile Water Supply, Fire and Life Safety Educator 1, and EMT Basic. This year's winner has worked hard to ensure that the highest level of training is provided to volunteer staff. Along, uh, along with other members of the department, developed a career development packet that includes a framework for members to achieve their firefi firefighter and driver credentials within the organization. This includes spending additional hours at the station to assist new drivers with obtaining additional training. Uh, and also, in fact, this individual received three times the required amount of uh, training total in just shy of 100 hours already in the year 2018. In addition to the duties as training officer, this firefighter professional serves as driver and officer of the Department Operations Division, working hard to ensure that units can respond to all hours of the day and night. And believe me, I've been there and done that. This includes responding to over 130 calls for for the year, which equals over 50% of the calls this person was on that truck. This level of commitment to emergency response is impressive for volunteers in light of today's demanding schedules. This uh, uh, vigilant effort to protect our community are to be commended. So it is with great pleasure to present the Jacksonville Oslo Chamber of Commerce 2018 Firefighter Professional of the Year Award to Captain Carlton Beal of the Onslow County Fire Rescue Bear Creek Station Number Two. <laughs> Captain Beal. The next award is the uh, 2018 Emergency Medical Service Profession uh, of the Year, and has, has this person has provided exemplary service over the past year by responding to 770 various incidents as a paramedic and completing 371 hours of or 371 classes and over 600 hours of training. Uh, quite a lot. This EMT, EMS professional excels in identifying new areas of opportunities, which is evident by his efforts when completing the research and implementation of public access automatic external defibrillator, AED. I hope everybody knows what that is. It's the device they use to shock your heart back or get your heart back in the rhythm. And that's one use for it but Loretta has got another one for it. She says we also use it for uh, long-winded politicians giving out public safety awards. <laughs> so
So with that in mind, I think that's why I, I think that's why Representative Shepherd didn't come today because he didn't want to get hooked up. So anyway, we'll move on. Our 2018 EMS Professional of the Year shows a genuine interest in seeing others succeed and inspires others to reach their fullest potential by serving as a mentor for two high school seniors throughout the school year. This individual also consistently exceeds performance expectations. Examples include helping the division in the reaccreditation process, administration through the Commission for Fire Accreditation International, and the ability to work and repair mechanical equipment, which has led to a sharp reduction in the cost to repairing emergency lighting equipment and lost time of equipment use. The continued efforts to uh, offer assistance to these seeking entry into the emergency medical service and tutoring emergency medical technicians students at no cost. He instructs professionally at Coastal Carolina Community College for the EMT certification course and has delivered over 200 hours of instruction to nearly 100 students. So this person I'm sure is sitting out in the audience and he probably says this is me so I'm going to go ahead and identify him. Lieutenant Peter T. McGee III began his career with the Camp Lejeune Fire and Emergency Service Division in November of 2013 as a paramedic firefighter. He was promoted to the rank of Lieutenant Paramedic earlier this year. Lieutenant McGee is a catalyst for success when sacrificing time away from his family by assist assisting active duty Marines obtaining their associate degree in fire technologies and by offering direction to Marines and sailors. I will say when you're in public safety, uh, the folks that you work with become your family and you depend on them and they depend on you. And you, a lot of times you spend more time, and Mayor Phillips can tell you, you spend more time with your uh, professional family than you do your family at home. So this is quite a sacrifice for firefighters and anybody in public safety. So when you see those folks, know that they do a lot off the scenes as much as they do uh, on the scene. And transitioning out of the military um, to the public service professionals, this uh, person uh, assists with that particular endeavor also. In the words of the fire chief at Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune Fire and Emergency Service Division, Peter affirms his continuously honor and continuously honors the Marine Corps he serves as one to be emulated. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present to you the Jacksonville Onslow Chamber of Commerce 2018 Medical Professional Service Professional of the Year, Lieutenant Paramedic Peter T. McGee III. And now to present the Jacksonville Onslow Chamber of Commerce 2018 Firefighter Professional of the Year Award uh, is uh, the Chamber President, Ms. Lorette Legion. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Jack. The 2018 Firefighter Professional of the Year has responded to 510 various incidents within the past year and completed 621 hours technical training courses, totaling over 900 hours. This firefighter professional is a pillar of the community volunteering nearly 500 hours, responding to calls, training, attending meetings, and performing administrative duties for an Onslow County Volunteer Fire Department. Focused on continued self-improvement and growth, this individual has taken the initiative to complete Leadership One from the National Fire Academy, Fire Department Inc Incident Safety Officer, Hazmat Safety Officer, and Advanced Incident Command Systems. 
This firefighter is actively working on a master's degree in organizational leadership with a concentration in fire rescue executive leadership and was selected from a very competitive consortium of applicants to attend an intensive one-year leadership development program. Being credentialed by the North Carolina Fire and Rescue Commission, this individual was responsible for planning, coordinating, and conducting 445 hours of instructions to nearly 200 students, as well as being qualified to teach a multitude of courses, and notably is only one of 19 rescue officer instructors in North Carolina. As part of the commitment to the team and mission, he has also helped in attaining recreditation status by the Commission on Fire Accreditation International for his division. Firefighter Lieutenant Donnie L. Woods spent the majority of his life as a public servant, which started as a junior firefighter at Atuskakia Volunteer Fire Department near Houston, Texas. Upon graduating high school in 98, he enlisted in the United States Marine Corps as an aviation ordnance technician. Donnie served multiple deployments to Iraq and Afghanistan in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom and Operation Enduring Freedom and was awarded the Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medals. Lieutenant Woods is pre presently assigned to Lejeune's Fire Station No. 4 and is one of two assigned drivers for uh, Engine 4. Donnie is a highly motivated individual who volunteers a great deal of his time, get this, to the Girl Scouts of America, Troop 1837, creating a positive and conductive learning environment for the Girl Scouts to thrive. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you a consummate professional who sets high standards for his peers to emulate, the Jacksonville Onslow Chamber of Commerce 2018 Firefighter Professional of the Year, Firefighter Lieutenant Donnie L. Woods of Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune Fire and Emergency Services Division. And now to present our next two awards, Jacksonville Mayor Sammy Phillips. Well, thank you, thank you, Lorette. Um, as Commissioner Chairman Bright mentioned, uh, I have a hard time with Chairman Bright. Jack mentioned before I was also a member of the $500 a month club when I came on the PD four years after he did. Uh, one of the things, uh, as he mentioned about the family, you know, I always look at Jack as somebody that I worked with for over, well, 30 years. I've known him for 40, about 45 years. We worked together well. We were not only uh, co-workers, but we were also friends. And that kind of, I think, reflects a lot on how our county and city government is moving forward as well as it is now, is that relationship. You know, even, we got some great commissioners, and that relationship, though, I think helps to, to set that design. Um, I'm here today to honor a couple of folks, and I'm going to start out. Uh, the 2018 Communications Professional of the Year is touted for answering calls for service within two seconds, 99.5% of the time, and in obtaining accurate information and providing information to police and fire within an average of 27 seconds. The telecommunications professional demonstrates the ability to assess any given situation and determine in record time which emergency resources that needs to be dispatched. This individual has been a partner in active shooting, shooter incidents, SWAT callouts, officer involved shootings, successful apprehension of bank robbery suspects, pursuits, domestic violence investigations, and many other critical calls for service. 
This telecommunicator currently holds certifications from the APCO Institute for Fire Service Communications, the Criminal Law Enforcement Automated Data Service, the U.S. Department of Justice, Public Safety Communica Telecommunications, Best Practices for Missing and Abducted Persons, and the North Carolina Warrant Repository, also the National Crime Information Center, and the National Academies of Emergency Dispatch. This, community, this communications professional is well respected by their peers in the agency and throughout the community. This person is referred to as the ultimate team member and is willing to share knowledge and experience in order to achieve the mission of the division. This telecommunicator has demonstrated the importance of professional public service in a variety of critical life or death emergency response situations. The dedication and professionalism given to the community is second to none. I mean, after all, this Coastal Carolina Community College graduate and Onslow County native has been on the job for 33 years. Julie Robson be began... With me. <clears throat> I really don't need this script. You know that, right? <laughs> yes. We, we worked together for a long time. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll follow. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, uh, Julie began her career with the Jacksonville Police Department on April, in April of 1985 as a clerk in the records division, and she later uh, well, not later, but shortly after she came on, she became a telecommunicator. And she's been there for 30, she was served over 30 years as a skilled and dedicated 911 or 911 emergency telecommunicator. Julie actually retired from Jacksonville Public Safety. I asked her that when she was going back to the table before I thought she had retired, but anyway. Uh, Julie actually went back uh, after six months of retirement, I guess it wasn't what, what it was all cracked up to be, was it? Six months, she returned as a part-time telecommunicator to assist during a division uh, personnel transition that incorporated a, a bunch of new telecommunicators. Julie's uh, pleasant demeanor and decades of experience are truly uh, a, a valued asset in mentoring new telecommunicators during transition into the extremely st stressful profession. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I pre present you to you, the 2018 Communications Professional of the Year, Julie Robson, telecommunicator for the Jacksonville Police Department. Thank you. That was that was so pleasurable to be able to do that because, like I said, I worked I worked with that woman there for twenty plus years, and she never dropped the ball one time. The 2018 Law Enforcement Professional of the Year has been in law enforcement for 15 years. This individual holds an array of professional certifications to include criminal justice instructor, defense tactics instructor physical fitness instructor, standard field sobriety test instructor, radar instructor, a traffic enforcement and investigation certificate from the North Carolina Justice Academy, and the advanced law enforcement certification. As in the case of many that served Onslow County in the public safety field, the Marine Corps was what brought this law enforcement professional to our community. Always striving for improvement, 
This individual completed, competed and was selected for specialized duties in the traffic enforcement related policing, including radar, speeding, impaired driving, and crashes. The reason behind going after such a difficult and specialized field was a passion for keeping our citizens safe on the roadways and in saving and in turn saving lives. This officer holds a bachelor's degree and graduated magna cum laude. She, she has received the state certification as a traffic crash reconstructionist from the North Carolina Training and Standards Division, the first female officer of the Jacksonville Police Department to ever achieve this. She was promoted to the rank of corporal in 2014, and she is one of only three police officers in North Carolina to earn the radar instructor certification. Corporal Vanessa Smith is described by her supervisors as an extremely reliable officer who continuously challenges herself. She is driven in her pursuit of person, personal and professional goals. And when asked how she was able to attain so many professional certifications, she described herself as a goal setter. Corporal Smith also stated, I try to attain a level of excellence in areas not normally sought by female officers. I want to open doors, break through any biases that there might be about abilities based on genders. Those are her quotes. Vanessa is one of the organizers of the highly successful Running with the Law, a 5K race held as a partner event to National Night Out each year. She celebrated the event by running in uniform, complete with ballistic vest and gun belt, and challenging other law enforcement officers across our community to join her. The success of the event is testament to her hard work on the Committee for National Night Out and her passion for sharing her fitness journey to support others. Vanessa's personal and professional accomplishments are very deserving of her selection as Public Safety Law Enforcement Professional of the Year. Ladies and gentlemen, as the Mayor of the City of Jacksonville, it is my honor to present the Jacksonville Onso Chamber of Commerce 2018 Law Enforcement Professional of the Year to Corporal Vanessa Smith with the Jacksonville Police Department Traffic Division. <laughs> afternoon. It was good morning when we started. I'd like to thank our sponsors for this event one more time. Our gold sponsors, Sanders Ford, Jones Onslow Electric Membership Corporation, Onslow County, and National Automotive Group. We'd also like to thank, uh, spend a special thank you to the public safety professionals in the surrounding counties and municipalities who served as judges for the awards given today. And just one more time, I know we've done a lot of clapping, but let's give one more round to all of the nominees as well as the award winners who've been recognized today. They merit it. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Have to give a shout out to chamber staff who make things come off without a hitch and look so easy. Thank you very much for the work they do. <laughs> and finally, as we hope you've already picked up on today, we like to give thanks and appreciation to all who have dedicated themselves to the public safety professions. If all of today's winners would please stand, please stand if you won an award today, grab your award, and come back for a moment. <laughs> We'd like to have a group photo of you guys. Give them one more round as they're coming. Thank you to everyone who's joined us here today. This meeting is adjourned. Have a pleasant afternoon.